What's up, Trade Hackers? Welcome to today's video update. Today's Thursday, September 3rd. We are going into a holiday weekend. And a lot of times we see complacency or up, uh, just kind of an upward grind, volatility contraction going into a long weekend. Not today, my friends. Not today. Look at this red bar. Haven't seen one of these red bars since, well, June. And so the question is, this is the S&P. Uh, the question is, what's the market going to do from here? Is this the first of something like this? Or is this the first of something like this? That is the magic question. But S&P's off 130 points. And we it's only, we've still got two hours until the market closes at the time of this recording. S&P's down 130, Dow down 860, NASDAQ down 656, and Russell down 50. What a bloodbath. And the, uh, the volatility index, the VIX, which we've been talking about, you know, all week, with the market being up, 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 the VIX is expanding as well. So volatility up while stocks are up, that is not normal. Uh, and frankly, a lot of times that precedes some uh, actual increased volatility in the form of downside markets. And that's exactly what we're seeing today. So big move to the downside, 3.7% in the S&Ps, over a 5% decline in the NASDAQ. That is a monster move. Then you got commodities like oil, flat. Gold, relatively flat. Silver's down, down a couple percent. Uh, natty gas, less than 1% move. Uh, you know, so commodities fairly, fairly flat. But look at the red on the stocks. I mean, we're talking about big movers. And we're talking about the post-corona crash tech darlings like Apple down 7%. Uh, Amazon down over 5%. AMD down 8%. And Zoom down 10%. Now, Granted, that's on top. Of, that's 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 on the back of a forty percent move after earnings. So let's not get too crazy about uh, you know the crash. And it's still up four hundred fifty six percent year to date. So uh, and then and then of course can't have a video without talking about Tesla. Tesla down eight percent. Uh, it's down uh, over eighteen percent off of its highs. Over twenty percent now. So big moves to the downside. I mean, these tech stocks that you just didn't think anything could ever get in their way, they are the biggest ones seeing some relief. And I've been talking about this for weeks, that if this thing really does turn down, it's going to be led by tech. I mean, the NASDAQ has just gotten so, so overextended. And uh, so tech is going to lead the way down. Now, is that going to be what we're going to see? We're going to Are we going to continue to the downside or not? You know, who knows? But... Uh, this is doing very good things for our portfolio. We're carrying, we've been carrying some short delta, some short side bias, and so this is a warm welcome for us. And what else do we do today? Well, we we added an iron duck in the S and P's, so no risk to the upside, and a big big buffer to the downside. When you see big down moves like we're seeing today, uh, that not only expands implied volatility but it also gives us a, a lower price to get in. So now with this type of trade, this thing could bounce and rip higher. We have absolutely no risk to the upside. In fact, we'll make a little bit of money. And then we have all the way down here, big buffer as far as a downside buffer uh, to make you know max profit in this area here. So look forward to doing more of those, especially if we see some more downside. Uh, earnings, so DocuSign, D-O-C-U, has earnings after the bell today. Uh, you can see it really spiked going into the announcement, and then it's coming off like everything else the last couple of days. Uh, so we, uh, I didn't, I didn't send out an alert on this. I did take a little bit of a bullish position in um, in DocuSign with with very little risk to the downside. So if it continues to go down, very little, uh, not much more risk, but uh, big upside. So. See how that plans out. Another one is work, which is Slack, the ticker for Slack. Now, interestingly, Slack has not participated in this tech boom during the corona economy like we've seen in a lot of these other stocks, uh, which I'm not really sure why. I mean, it's still up, I mean, 35% year to date. So it's not, let's not feel sorry for it. But at the same time, you know, it's not up several hundred percent like some of these other tech uh, tech companies. So 
Anyway, uh, work has a Slack has earnings after the uh, after the bell today as well. So we'll be watching those. And with that, what else we got? Oh yeah, uh, day trading. So had a great morning of day trading in the live stream room. Monday and Tuesday this week were tough. I mean, things were choppy. It was hard to get anything going. So we had a couple of red days on Monday and Tuesday, but came roaring back uh, Wednesday and Thursday with, uh, I think we're up 1200, almost $1,300 yesterday and uh, about 1600 bucks today. So good way to end the week. We will not be streaming on Friday, uh, we, we're working on our new trading platform that we're coming out with. So uh, not going to be doing any stream. I'm going to be doing a lot of testing on that. So we won't be streaming Friday. And then, of course, Monday is Labor Day. So we won't be streaming Friday or Monday, but we will be back live streaming at the market open on Tuesday. So look forward to that. If you uh, haven't done that yet, jump in there with us and uh, see what we're doing. It's pretty exciting stuff. So Look forward to it. Everybody have, if I don't talk to you, everybody have a great long uh, Labor Day weekend. Recharge the batteries. See you back Tuesday. Take care.